Okay, this is the Ogre from MattOgre.com, WeTheArm.com, and Basin Sports. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about binoculars. We've got a couple different examples of some common binocular types here. Uh, one thing when you're buying binoculars, what you want to make sure is that you focus the bino for your eyes. If you wear glasses, make sure you push the eye cups in. And all these binos have eye cups. And most good binos have these type of twist out eye cups or push out or whatever. Some will have roll down eye cups. But to tune it to your eyes, they all have an individual focus that a lot of people don't know about. On some binos, you pull it out and then you can focus one eye at a time, push it back in to focus both. Others will have a ring right here or like this here. And what some what some salesmen will do to get you to favor one bino over the other is to put one of these out of whack and then give it to you and let you look at it. So when you're looking at binos to buy them, make sure that you focus it for your eye. So if you've got a setup like this, close your, get a good focus on something reasonably far away, get a, as good of a focus as you can, close your left eye, and then fine tune it with your right eye and you can see it adjusting that lens there. So get that into a finer focus, then open up both eyes again, and then your image should look sharper. And like I said, this one's got the, you pop it out, fine tune it, and push it back in. Now the Steiner binos are the opposite. You close your right eye, and then you can fine focus the left eye to tune it to your face. Um, when you're buying binos, there is no one best bino. Uh, it all depends on what you're doing with it. Some are heavier than others. Some are lighter than others. But uh, just make sure you remember to focus that to your eye. And then you'll be able to buy some really good glass. I'll talk more about this stuff later, but just wanted to get that out there. So when you're buying glass, it's real important to get one that's good for you and your eyes, not what everybody else says that you should get, because everybody's eyes different. We've got these Swarovskis, real expensive, really bright and clear, fantastic glass, but it's, it's expensive if you can afford it, great. we got some loopholes. Uh, we got some Outdoor Edge. we got some Nikon Monarchs. These are the new Monarch X. Really good glass. Another thing when you're looking at binos, you know, you're looking through them and that looks fine, but another thing to do is to flip them over and look through this side. When you're looking through this side, it acts as a magnifying glass. And I can't really show that to you on the camera, but uh, when, you're looking at, when you're looking through this way, uh, you're able to see uh, and really get a better idea about your uh, exit pupil. And you can look at, just look at your hand, you can look at the ridges, the dermal ridges in your fingers, and you get an idea on the, on the detail, or you can look at text and you can look and see how much how much of a word you have how many letters you can see across that'll give you an idea of the size and also of course color and clarity but uh, be real careful when you're looking at glass because you really do get what you pay for alright peace